If you want to unlock Platinum Camo for the SMGs in Modern Warfare, then you've got 6 different guns to master. This can seem like a tall order, but there's a lot you can do to make it easier for yourself, if you know how. This video is going to be showing you everything you need to know in order to unlock Platinum Camo as quickly and easily as possible. I'm going to be covering the best game modes to play, tips and tricks for getting high kills in each game, as well as a guide for the camo challenges themselves. So. If you're trying to complete the SMGs on the way to Damascus, or maybe just want a cool camo to show off, then this is the video for you. I want to point out straight away that you do not need to get all of the SMGs in the game gold to get platinum camo. You do not need to complete the striker, as this was added in Season 2. The 6 guns this leaves you with, the MP7, the MP5, the AUG, the P90, the Uzi and the Bison are the only ones you need to complete in order to unlock platinum. It may seem obvious to some of you, but I myself almost wasted a fair chunk of my time pointlessly pursuing this weapon. Now, getting into completing the challenges as quickly and easily as possible, the first thing to discuss is the right playstyle for rapid progression. The answer is, to play aggressive. All of these weapons are short range, and are at their best at close quarters. It doesn't matter what game mode you're in, or what map you're on, you will have the best success with an SMG if you're pushing the enemy team. You want to be getting up close and personal, constantly moving towards where combat is and closing the distance between you and enemies as often as possible. Sitting back with an SMG just doesn't produce the best results, as they don't have any of the properties that suit this kind of reserved playstyle. They're easily outranged by other weapons like assault rifles or snipers, so don't bother trying to hand back. Playing aggressively will give you the best possible chance to rack up high kills in each game you play. This is what will allow you to progress through the camo challenges as quickly as possible. Which game mode you play is also going to make a huge difference as to how fast you're going to be able to get these guns gold. If the playlist is there, and you don't mind the absolute madness that it is, then Hardcore Shipment 24-7 is a great option. All you have to do is sprint around the map, hip firing away and you'll be sure to rack up kills no problem. SMGs can cover the entire map without any trouble so you can comfortably shoot at anyone you see, knowing you'll kill them if you hit them. If you don't like the insanity and frustration that this mode brings though, then I would highly, highly recommend going over to Ground War. The huge team sizes and dynamic map layouts really have some potential once you've got to grips with how each map flows and the game mode plays in general. You won't be able to just charge headlong at enemies and rack up kills like in Shipment 24-7, but with a bit of smart play you can have a lot of success in this mode. Stick to flanking objectives, getting behind enemy lines, and taking enemies by surprise in order to pick up plenty of easy kills. This mode is always there, and is a great option if shipment isn't available, or if you just don't want to deal with the constant death that is this playlist. This part of the video is going to cover what I believe to be the best class setups for the SMGs, that will allow you to unlock camos fast. All of the SMGs are fairly similar in my opinion. Each one packs a high fire rate, with some variation in damage and recoil. The exception is the AUG, which is closer to an assault rifle than an SMG. I would recommend prioritising both range and mobility for the best results. Adding on a monolithic suppressor and range extending barrel gives you the extra bit of breathing room in terms of effective range. This is especially important if you're playing on bigger maps seen in ground war. Then, for mobility increase, using stippled grip tape and a 5 megawatt laser will let you move at breakneck pace. I'd recommend also using a stop that increases aim walking speed. I know you can ditch the stock entirely for the ultimate mobile weapon, and you can get away with this in hardcore modes, but in any other mode the recoil is just uncontrollable and you'll have big problems trying to kill an enemy who isn't right in front of you. The AUG is slightly different, simply because it already has good range. For this gun, extend the magazine, add on an even longer barrel and a sight and you've got yourself an effective AR. I'd strongly recommend hopping between both ground war and hardcore shipment. Make a class setup for each mode, and change up your attachments to reflect the demands of said game mode. Running and gunning for shipment, range and stealth for ground war. Now some camo challenges are more tricky than others, so I'm going to be focusing on these ones in order to make your life easier. Something I had a big problem with was the splinter camo, which needs 50 long shots to complete. I found the best option was to stick on a sight in order to have clear accuracy, then every attachment that reduced the recoil and increased the range. Playing more defensively in ground war meant I could cover an area from a distance and pick off anyone who wandered across my path. This camo just forces a change of pace from the run and gun playstyle that works so well for the rest of the challenges. There's no point getting up close and personal, 
as you have to be at a distance anyway for the kills you get to count towards this challenge. Take your time and hang back a bit, letting enemies come to you will serve you best. Another camo that I know is a source of pain for all is Topo, which requires 50 mount kills. This one is more of a pain because it forces you to stop moving and disrupts any flow in your playstyle. I would absolutely recommend running into hardcore objective modes for this. Shipment 24-7 is your best option, but if that's not available, then any objective mode will do. The super high damage in this mode means you can take down anyone that you see when mounted, which is very handy as it will cut down the amount of time you need to commit to this challenge. Simply spawn in, then sprint to a piece of cover near a high traffic area and mount up. This one does take some patience though, as you're dependent on enemies coming across you. My advice is to start working on this as soon as possible, so that you don't have it hanging over you. The rest of the camo challenges are all very simple and relatively straightforward. Challenges like crouch kills, headshots and general kills can all be accomplished very quickly with a bit of conscious thought. You just need to actively focus on going for that challenge with each kill you get. Obviously, if you're going for headshots, put on a sight that makes aiming at them easy. For crouch kills, crouch whenever you see an enemy. For no attachments, don't use any attachments. These are all obvious in principle and the best way to complete them is to simply get lots of kills per game. Playing aggressively, farming as many kills as you can per match is always the best bet when trying to get platinum camos and completing these challenges. I hope this video has helped you out and that this guide will make getting platinum camos much easier for you. With a bit of patience, smart thinking and aggressive play, you can get these guns done in a relatively short period of time.